Hey guys, this is Adam with Farm Life Outfitters and I uh, just wanted to jump on here today and and talk to you a little bit about our cows. Um, we purchased our first cows this year. Um, so this is year one with, with them and uh, we've learned a lot. We have enjoyed them. Uh, I just, I love having the cows. They're, they're easy to manage. They, uh, they're just a pleasure to be around. Uh, the only con is that they eat a lot. They do require quite a bit of feed compared to what we've had in the past with our sheep and goats. So um, I had to buy quite a bit of hay this year um, and they require a lot of pasture. So I want to talk to you about a little experiment that I'm doing right now with uh, managed grazing compared to continuous grazing. So here we go. All right, so uh, from about September, I don't know, early September through October, we did not have much rain at all. And so I, um, I kept our cows over here close to the house and fed them hay during that time to keep them off the pasture. So over here, one of our pastures is approximately five acres and it looks something like this. I think you guys saw me splitting this up into paddocks earlier in the year. So it looks something like this. And then we have a divider that looks something like that. So we separated the, the entire pasture into two, two pastures basically. So the total, the total is about five acres for this entire plot. So from uh, the end of August, till November there were there were no animals on this pasture which allowed the grass to regrow and uh, before I took the cows over I mean it was probably a foot tall in some places or maybe more in the grass so on November the 10th I moved the cows over here and and I'm setting up a daily rotation which looks like this So every day I will set this up, these three wires get set up every day. So they're here on day one, then they move here, and then this wire gets moved to here. So the next day they move to here, and so on and so on. So I've calculated that by keeping this, these paddocks tight, I've got 50 days worth of grazing in this, in this five acres. I am new to this. I'm new to having cows. I'm still figuring out how to move them, how, what to do. And we also, I forgot to tell you how many we have. So we have uh, six cows. We have three calves. And one bull. So I've calculated that this five acres will last 50 days by moving them every day from paddock to paddock. On the other hand, uh, and this is the part of the experiment that I'm sort of guessing at. I mean, I can, I can look at the pasture and kind of tell how long it might last. So I have estimated that if I were to turn the cows out into this five acres with no divisions, just let them have the entire five acres, my estimation would be that it would last uh, two weeks. So continuous grazing would last two weeks with no hay. So that would mean out of the 50 days they would be here, I would have to feed hay for five weeks. And from having them close to the house and feeding them hay, I have found that they will go through a roll of hay in three to four days. So let's just say every four days we need a roll of hay. So that would be nine rolls. That would be a cost of $315 for continuous grazing. That's two weeks with no hay and five weeks of feeding hay 
and feeding out nine rolls of hay during that time. Let's compare that to uh, managed intensive grazing by moving them every day and giving them just enough for that day. Alright, so I am, uh, like I said, I'm moving the cows, but I'm also giving them some hay. And I found that for, let's just call it managed intensive grazing, MIG, one roll of hay will last two weeks. And that's giving them just enough every day uh, just to make sure they get enough to eat. And uh, so one roll will last two weeks. So that means in 50 days, I will have fed out three and a half rolls of hay. Times $35 is $125. That's the cost of feeding the cows during this 50 days. So we have uh, $315 for continuous grazing minus the $125 is a balance of $190 savings for uh, moving the cows every day. So after I figured that, I wanted to see how much like, it, you know, it takes time to move these cows. So it takes me on the average 20 minutes per day. So that's every morning I go and I give the cows a little bit of hay, which takes about 10 minutes. And then every afternoon I go and move the cows to the next paddock, which takes about 10 minutes. So on average, I spend 20 minutes a day feeding and moving the cows. So at 20 minutes a day, that is 16 and a half hours, roughly, during this 50-day pasture rotation. I've got 16 and a half hours labor in moving the cows. So then we do $190 divided by 16 and a half hours. So I make uh, $11.50 an hour to go move the cows. So to me, that's worth it. That's worth it. Um, not only am I saving money to go move the cows, it's also benefiting the land. By moving the cows, I've noticed that I'm spreading the fertility where I want it. Because if, if they were continuous grazing over this whole pasture, they would pick a spot. Let's say there's a tree here, there's a tree here. That, you know, they would pick these spots that they would lounge every day, and that's where most of the manure would be deposited, and that's where the fertility would would go. But by moving them every day, this whole paddock right here is covered with manure, and then the next day, this whole paddock is just covered in manure. So on and so on. So I am spreading out my fertility over the whole pasture instead of concentrating it in this one area where they like to lounge every day. Um, another benefit that I've noticed, uh, even though we're in fall, winter, and the temperatures are, are pretty cold, you know, we're, we've gotten down into the 20s, but most days it's uh, lows in the 30s and highs in the 60s. So I've noticed that by the time I get here, which is, uh, this is about three weeks. This grass back here has already grown back some. So once I keep going, going around, I can come back again and make the paddock a little bigger. You know, maybe make this area their paddock for the day. Or I can just give them the, the whole pasture at that point. But I think what I'm going to do since the grass is regrowing a little bit is just give them a slightly bigger paddock and then just keep going around. And so instead of 50 paddocks, I might have 20. So one, you know, just have 20 paddocks going around. So thank you for joining me today on this little uh, experiment that I'm doing with the cows. Uh, like I said, I, I really enjoy the cows. I like to see what they're doing to the land and I'm excited to see uh, just the benefit of having the cows on the land and, and how much better our pastures are gonna be. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next one. Hey, 
will last about three weeks. <laughs>